Energy Safety Canada, the National Safety Association for Canada's oil and gas industry. That was a close call. Did you know that line of fire makes up more than half of all potentially serious incidents within the oil and gas industry? And many of these incidents involve motor vehicles. This is one of the reasons why line of fire is one of the 10 life-saving rules. As you might know, line of fire means being in the potential path of the release of hazardous energy. In short, being in harm's way. Many line of fire incidents involve motor vehicles. When we think of line of fire involving vehicles, we often think of a worker being impacted by a moving vehicle. But there are many types of hazardous energy associated with vehicles in the oil and gas industry. Let's look at a few situations involving vehicles and see what line of fire hazards we can find. A work crew is conducting pipeline work when a vacuum truck encounters brackish water. The truck's vent exhaust now contains toxic vapors such as hydrogen sulfide, and workers are in the line of fire of this hazardous chemical energy. These workers originally planned to work on the cattle guard from the pipeline side of the road. Distracted by other hazards, they did not include the power line in their hazard assessment. That could have been deadly. Often, line of fire incidents are more complex than simply being aware of your surroundings. Take this track hoe that is being used to help with the pipeline work. Unaware their clothing is caught on the boom control stick, the operator releases the control lock in preparation for putting the machine to work. That could have been serious. This is an example of a safeguard that lacked the ability to fail safely when an error or mistake was made, such as the operator removing the lock early or not noticing their PPE snagged on the control stick. To prevent serious incidents, we all need to be aware of our surroundings. But even so, mistakes or errors will happen given enough time. That's why we also need to design our safeguards so that being seriously injured is not just less likely, it's almost impossible. What line of fire hazards exist in your workplace in relation to vehicles? See if you can identify three and then take action.